What's up everybody, Jossie here. A few months ago, I made a video talking about how I accepted a new role as a front-end software engineer and how my job is actually in Jersey City and I'd be working remotely up until the point where I actually have to move because I'll be working in a hybrid type of way where I'm in office a couple times a week. Now that time has actually come and it's time for us to move. It's been a pretty crazy, hectic process. The market is insane. Honestly, it would have been better if we would have moved earlier in the year because there were more specials going on, especially in the more desirable neighborhoods in Manhattan and Brooklyn, but it's all good. To be honest with you, I wasn't sure if I was gonna make this video. I figured you all wanted to be a part of this experience and I really do want you all to be a part of this experience and it'd be crazy not to make this video, especially considering that I'm moving from my hometown permanently for the first time. I did go away to college, but that was you know, only three and a half hours away and it wasn't a permanent move. For those of you all who don't know where Jersey City is, it's a city in New Jersey, west of Manhattan, right across, literally right across from Manhattan in certain parts of Jersey City, you feel like you can touch Manhattan because it's like 10 minutes away across the Hudson. We did look at apartments in New York City, specifically the Park Slope neighborhood in Brooklyn. The reason why I titled this video New York City Metro Area is because most of the units we're gonna talk about are in the metro area, not New York City per se. So Weehawken, Jersey City, and Hoboken. Some of you all are gonna be nitpicky, like, oh, that's not New York City. I posted a TikTok video looking at apartments in like Weehawken, trying to correct me in the comments section. But if you look up the definition of New York City metro area, it is not only New York City, Manhattan, Brooklyn, you know, Queens, Long Island, but it's also the Northern Jersey cities like Hoboken, Weehawken, and Jersey City. If you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, it helps out with the algorithm. I would greatly appreciate that and subscribe for more content like this. I'm actually really excited to move to the New York City area because I wanna make more content like this. So even if we don't choose an apartment in the New York City area, I'm definitely gonna be making real estate content, at least I'm going to try to, I'm going to speak that into existence. So our budget is between $2,800 and $3,400, and that is including parking, which sounds insane coming from Ohio. You literally could get a pretty large house on the lake in Cleveland for that monthly cost. But I, I understand, I understand why it's that price. One thing that was pretty frustrating when it came to our apartment search is that there weren't as many concessions or specials for those who aren't familiar with that, it basically meant that a lot of apartments who had a lot of vacancies were giving renters, you know, one, two, three, and up to four months rent free, which obviously makes the apartments a lot cheaper. Some apartments did offer specials, and you'll notice that the apartments that were located in cities or neighborhoods that were a little bit more inconvenient in terms of location, those had the cheaper prices compared to Hoboken and Jersey City. So the first apartment I wanna talk about was this spacious one bedroom that was 900 square feet in Park Slope, Brooklyn. We didn't really get a chance to tour Brooklyn apartments as much as we wanted to, specifically in like the Bushwick neighborhood and Williamsburg neighborhood. One of the main reasons why is because we were really pressed for time. We aren't really familiar with Brooklyn outside of like Dumbo and Brooklyn Heights. It's funny because our first experience looking at apartment in New York City was very cliche. The neighborhood was really nice. The location in the neighborhood wasn't the greatest. It was very busy. So Park Slope is a very like tranquil, relaxing, suburban type of feel neighborhood, which is why we gravitated to it. But the spot that we looked at was located in the more busier side. It smelled pretty bad. My wife didn't like that at all. But that's kind of expected when there's trash everywhere. Nonetheless, the place was nice. The place was actually really spacious. Unfortunately, I don't have any video. For one, we really didn't have any energy. We were exhausted and literally there was no electricity in the unit. So the only lighting that we had came from the hallway, but this place was nice. It had a den, really large windows. It was very spacious, new appliances, open concept, a really nice 
island in the kitchen with really nice finishes. It was actually $3,400, which was a bit over budget because more than likely we'd have to pay for parking in some garage. It's gonna cost north of $200. First apartment that I'll talk about in the Northern Jersey area in the city of Weehawken. Weehawken is beautiful. Weehawken definitely has, I'd say they have the best views of New York City because you're just far away to get like a better landscape view of it, but then you're close enough where it doesn't feel too far at all. This apartment was called Harbor 1500. It was a beautiful building. This was a very luxurious amenity building and most of the Weehawken buildings on the waterfront are these really luxurious buildings, which kind of makes sense to kind of get people who work in Manhattan to gravitate there because you can get to work fairly quickly if you take the ferry. When we entered into the lobby, it felt like we were in a resort. It was so modern and luxurious. Amenity buildings in the New York City area are really legit. In terms of cost, this unit was $34.65, but had a special of one month free on a 13 to 16 month lease, I'm pretty sure, and two months free on an 18 month lease. So with one month, it gives you a price of about $3,200 and about $3,080 for two months free for a 18 month lease. They also showed us a unit that was a bit over budget that had a massive terrace. This unit was incredible because you have a pretty unobstructed New York City views from the terrace, which was nearly the size of the apartment. It's very modern, gets really good lighting, and is very open concept with floor to ceiling windows that span across the entire width of the wall. The next apartment was in Jersey City. This was one of the more spacious units. It was 887 square feet, but it was a two bed, one bathroom. This unit was on the fifth floor in downtown Jersey City, a few blocks south of Hamilton Park. So the location was ideal. All the appliances were brand new. I really liked that the island floated in the center of the kitchen. There was a washer and dryer in unit. Really no complaints about this unit itself. The price is right at $3,100 a month. So with parking about $3,300 a month, the only issue we had was that the building had no amenities. So we figured it doesn't make sense to pay north of $3,400 for a building that has zero amenities. So this next apartment is in Hoboken, New Jersey. This is where we preferred to be so if we're like not in brooklyn if we don't choose an apartment in brooklyn or manhattan we'd prefer to be in hoboken it's a very interesting city it's only about a mile long conveniently located in between the holland tunnel and the lincoln tunnel the location was great there's really nice coffee shops nearby trader joe's some other grocery store i forget the name of also there's a deli really close by as well it's 801 square feet the the price for this apartment was actually $29.65, which is under $3,000, which is quite surprising when compared to the other apartments we looked at in not as good of a location. This unit was really spacious. There's a washer and dryer room, which is perfect for us since I have so much gear and need storage. Also, the living space was large. The kitchen doesn't take up too much space. We really liked the nearly floor to ceiling windows that filled almost the entirety of the wall. Also, the appliances were modern. I like the dark brown finishes. Window in the bedroom was pretty large and the size of the bedroom was massive. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but there's definitely enough space for end tables, a king size bed and a desk setup. The bathroom was spacious as well with a really large mirror. It had a floating vanity above the toilet, which was a bit weird, but at least there was a vanity for more storage. They also had a rooftop. It wasn't on the top floor. It was more like a courtyard level. I think it was on like the second floor. But one nice thing about this building is that you can use the amenities and there are other like three or four buildings that have other rooftop options and gyms. The next unit I'm gonna show you is called Hamilton Cove in Weehawken, which I talked about earlier. So it was really close by to the first unit I showed you in Weehawken. But this unit had the best amenity spaces. Like the first unit I showed you in Weehawken had incredible amenity spaces, but this building was next level. Um, the designers who designed the Google buildings, or at least one of the buildings, designed this building. So there were tons of co-working spaces. Their gym was like multiple floors. You can literally do whatever workout you want. There was a spin room, a theater room, rooftop with New York City views, co-working spaces with New York City views. Whatever mini space you could think of, they probably had it. The unit they showed us was really spacious, open concept. 
That's pretty standard for Weehawken waterfront apartments. Very spacious. I think it was about 820 square feet. Open up to this unit, you're greeted with a very modern kitchen with stainless steel appliances, white cabinetry, and even a hood. My, my wife loves the hood. Honestly, I think it looks really cool too. It really fills out the kitchen. There's really no view. It's facing south, so no waterfront views. Kind of weird, you're facing like this office. Um, so we'll see how much of a role that plays when it comes to all the other units. The building has a million amenities, so that's a huge plus. So we don't necessarily need the greatest view. In the main living space, there are multiple floor to ceiling windows. Standing across the wall, which shows you how large this space really is. The bedroom is spacious, definitely enough space for a desk. Um, and it also has a floor to ceiling window as well, which is a major plus for lighting. So those were four of the units that we looked at in New York City, Hoboken, Jersey City, and Weehawken. We looked at other apartments as well, but that would make this video extremely long. And these are really the best options, I would say. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments section. So that concludes this video. I greatly appreciate you all who have been here since day one. And for those of you all who have been so um, positive and encouraging um, throughout this entire process, I'm really excited to share this experience with you. I'm really excited for this next step in our life really thanking God for all of this. This still doesn't seem real. With all that being said, I will see you all soon. As always, have a blessed rest of your week. Peace.